Hey guys, and welcome to Blue Neptune Designs. Today I will be making a table for myself or to use my Cricut laptop and everything um, for my business. I really enjoyed it, so I hope you like the process. We got our wood slab here and we cut four pieces for each corner so that it will help stabilize the legs a bit stronger. And yeah, I have my helper here today. He kind of helped me build the whole table. And you can see him lining up the four corners of where the legs will be. All right, here is the finished built table. It is now time to paint the top portion. I had a couple ideas in mind of how I wanted to paint my table, but I decided to go with uh, two colors of blue so that it kind of represented my business colors. I kind of wanted to blend the colors, but also keep some of the paint strokes from the brush. I think that really added some texture and uniqueness to it. Alright, it is now day two. I decided that I'm going to do a second coat just to make the colors um, more vibrant and kind of make sure that then all the wood is covered up. I noticed the four smaller pieces for the legs kind of stuck out, so I decided to paint them the dark blue. Once the painting was done, I had some leftover clear coat that I had used on some paintings, so I decided to use this and add a little bit of water to get a more flowing um, clear coat for the table. I ended up doing two coats of this just to make sure everything was covered up. Adding this extra gloss really brought out the colors of the blues and I really like how it turned out. Alright, now it is time to add all of my stuff onto the table. Alright, so I got the chair here. Uh, underneath, I just added my laptop case. Then I added this little table. If I need it for extra space or something when I'm working, as another little shelf. So I have that. And I have my folder for all my files and then all my vinyl and mats. And I got all my pens here. This is actually a light that disassembles so you can put your phone on and create videos. Then I got my laptop connected to my Cricut and then my little notebooks. Alright, I am at my table right now. Uh, since it's finished, I wanted to do a project for this video as well, so I'm going to create a sweater, so let's get started. We are heading to Michael's first head to pick up some vinyl. Okay, so I started just weeding this. I just kind of use my hands for the bigger portions and I will go in with a weeding tool and get out the small ones. 
Now I'm just going to take this weeding tool and go in anywhere where I don't want it, like right here. My fingernails are still kind of blue from painting the table yesterday. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to place our design where we kind of want it. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this old sheet on top. I'll give it a quick iron. Okay, let's see. How does that one work? Oh wow. Oh wow, that actually looks so cool. <laughs> okay, so I use my right hand more, so I think I'm going to put my name on here. So yeah, I just designed all of these on Leonardo. It's a designing app that you can just draw in basically. If you're taking tips off of this video, I am no way an expert at this. This is my first time, so I am just experimenting. So I wouldn't take everything literal, just kind of play with it on your own. All right, so I finished this sweater. This is the final design. I have the rose in the corner here, blue Neptune designs on the sleeve at the back. I absolutely love this piece. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of the table and the sweater that I created. So I will see you guys in the next video.